you know, wrestling fans, you know, guys, I was going to take the night off. I was. I was going to take the night off from YouTube, from podcasting, from anything. If I was going to do anything on YouTube, it was going to be watching stuff on YouTube. It was not going to be doing podcasts. And of course, I just had to look at WWE rumors. What a mistake. What a mistake, guys. What a mistake, wrestling fans. Because, because today on the podcast, we are going to be discussing Goldberg, 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 and who WWE has in line is teasing for his Saudi Arabia opponent in June. We're going to hit the intro and we'll be back in just a second. Stay tuned in, wrestling fans. We'll be back. Guys, Goldberg, we haven't really seen or heard anything about Goldberg since he went into the WWE Hall of Fame. And quite frankly, we know that the Saudi Arabian shows are all centered around big stars. They like to have Big, huge name stars. Newest member, Goldberg. Now, as of right now, WWE has him signed to a one-off, one-match deal. And he's gone. Now, do I think this is going to last? Absolutely not. I think Goldberg, Goldberg... Goldberg will get signed after this with a Legends contract or something along those lines to uh, get him to appear more often down the road. Whether it's SummerSlam, another Saudi Arabian show, whatever, WrestleMania, he'll show up again. But the question is, wrestling fans, who, who will Goldberg face in June at the Saudi Arabian show? Now, wrestling fans, I'm sorry, who they have lined up to face really makes me not interested in seeing Goldberg at all at the Saudi Arabian show. It just doesn't. I know some of you are probably thinking, Boo! At me saying that. Because seeing Goldberg is always a cool thing when it comes to a spear and jackhammer. Who's next? Right? Look. As of right now, I just saw a report and his rumored opponent who WWE is teasing on social media right now is Almighty Now, I say this gives me no interest whatsoever. Um, you all know I'm not a Bobby Lashley fan.
fan. I never have been a Bobby Lashley fan. He is... His character is so vanilla, I can't see straight. I can't... I can't stand to watch him on television. I, I just can't. I want to pick up the... If I wasn't a loyal WWE fan, I would pick up the remote and change the channel when Bobby Lashley comes on television. So the only positive I can really think of uh, about this uh, uh, matchup is... We get to see Goldberg spearing, jackhammering really quick. One, two, three. Because Goldberg never has uh, long matches. It's always short, quick, to a point. That's the only good thing I can think of. And then we can all be happy because nobody likes Bobby Lashley. But, do we really want to see that? No. No. I don't care if they revisit Brock Lesnar. I don't care. Revisit that. Don't put Brock Lesnar against Seth Rollins. Like, I'm sure WWE will want to do, or probably will do. Don't do that crap. I would rather see Brock Lesnar and Goldberg again. Remember what they did the last time? I know I cringed on it at uh, my WrestleMania 33 uh, uh, review, but that's beside the point. I would rather see that than cringely. Have Goldberg crush Elias. What's Elias good for? Being interrupted. That's it. Instead, we'll probably see Elias versus Roman Reigns. Again. Because that's all Roman Reigns is going to do uh, right now. You think they're going to just end it with uh, uh, one pay-per-view? No. No. Elias right now is in that Dude Love spot back in the 90s where Dude Love was in the McMahon's kind of back pocket doing everything Vince and Shane wanted him to do. What do you think Elias is doing? Doing everything Vince and Shane wants him to do to destroy Roman Reigns. This isn't going to last just one month. So, whatever. All I know is, is I hope they do something good with Goldberg at the Saudi Arabian show. We'll have to wait and find out. You all subscribe to the channel right now. It would be much appreciated. And go back and watch anything you missed right here on the channel this week and of course until i see you again this is webby and i'll catch you on the other side Talk to you later.